I'm so nervous. Do you think she's gonna like me? She's gonna love you. There's nothing to be worried about, okay? Hello, Mrs. Reyes. It's so nice to finally meet you. Ella no habla español. ¿A dónde encontraste este coco? Mamá es una buena chica. Nos acabamos de comprometer. Pero por favor, hablemos en inglés, ¿sí? Para que ella también nos entienda. ¿Y por qué no puede aprender a hablar español? El español es su lengua materna. Y no se te olvide. English, mom. Please. Hmm. Ella está contigo por tu dinero. My goodness. Was it something I said? No. You're fine. Forget about it. I love you. I love you. Gloria, I don't know you were home. Shopping bags? Seriously? How much money did you spend? Oh, this? Oh, it was nothing. I just decided to... You waste all this money on yourself, no doubt. Uh, no, it's not that at all. Oh, you're not fooling me, young lady. I know you. A mí tú no me engañas. I'm so excited to see you. No, Carlos doesn't know about any of this. So please, let's keep this our little secret. Okay, I'll see you soon. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, oh, okay, I, I, I gotta go, bye. Caught you red-handed, didn't I? Are you keeping things from my son? Uh, no, let me explain. There's I was- There's nothing to explain. You pack your bags and get out. You are no longer welcome here. Wait till my son hears about this. I don't know what you see in this woman, but she cannot stay here. My mom, but I love her. She's my fiance. No. Ella no es como nosotros. She doesn't know how to speak Spanish. She spends all your money on herself, and I even caught her talking to another man behind your back. She's keeping secrets from you. Talking to another man, Mama? Adriana would never do that. Carlito, I'm your mother. And I know what's best for you. And I will not accept her as my daughter. Look, Mama, I love you with all my heart. But I also love Adriana. For me, please, can you... Can you go talk to her and fix all of this? Ay, hijo. Que inocente eres. Fine. I'll go talk to her. Adriana? Adriana? Dear Mrs. Reyes, I, I just, just wanted, wanted to, to let you know the reason I never learned Spanish is because my parents passed away when I was a little girl. I was adopted by a white mother who raised me like her own daughter. And the reason why I had all those shopping bags was because I knew your birthday was coming up. If you looked inside of those bags, you would have seen the clothes were for you. And the reason why I was on the phone in the bedroom is because I was talking to your other son. I wanted to surprise you by flying him in for your birthday since you haven't seen him for so long and I've been missing him so much. 
I never wanted to cause any problems in your home. And I hope you find a traditional girl you can accept as a daughter. Please give this ring back to your son for me. Love, always. Adriana. Oh, gosh. What have I done? For a mom, one of the most difficult things is to see her son have another important woman in his life. A mom is so used to being the number one woman in her son's life that it's hard when she starts to feel like she's becoming number two. But for mother-in-laws, always remember, this is not a competition. The most important thing is that your son is happy. Give your son and his wife some space and they'll love and respect you for it. For daughter-in-laws, always remember, the reason he's so good to you has everything to do with the woman who raised him. So even if you don't see eye to eye with your mother-in-law, you should always try to treat her with respect. Now I'm not saying any of this is easy. Family is always complicated, but great relationships only require two things, to appreciate each other's similarities and to respect each other's differences. Hey, what's up Facebook fam? I hope you love that message. Now it's time for me to choose my $100 giveaway winner. We've got Renee Concierge who shared my last video. Congratulations and anyone can enter my giveaways. All you have to do is share any one of my videos and you're automatically entered. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.